Anyway, uh, let's go to other news. It may be the start of a new year, but many of the same debates rage with as many as 80 councils across Australia dumping citizenship ceremonies on January 26. Now, you'd think that receiving your Australian citizenship on Australia Day would be a great honour, but a growing number of councils are refusing to hold events this year thanks to the Albanese government, which revoked a rule that effectively forced local councils to hold ceremonies on Australia Day. Stephen, how do you think new citizens will feel about being unable to receive their citizenship on Australia Day because woke councils say, oh, we don't want to upset Indigenous people? Yeah, I mean, I, want to, I don't want to necessarily uh, say, uh, speak for all sort of new uh, immigrants, new citizens, but what I will say is that these local councils need to remember that these people are becoming citizens of Australia, mm -hmm. not citizens of the Sydney Council, not citizens of the Melbourne Council, but citizens of Australia, and there is no mandate from Australians to change that date. And so they're arrogating uh, a right to do something that they have no right to do. These are people who are becoming citizens of Australia and that particular ceremony should reflect the, 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 the national law and the sort of the national feel that the, 20, the 26th of, of January is the day uh, of, of celebration, the day to do such things. Yeah, very good point, Stephen. Evelyn, uh, Sydney Lord Mayor Clover Moore, she says that the 26th of January is a, a painful day, it's distressing for Indigenous people, it's a, a hurtful day. But at the same time, Sydney Council put on a whole host of Australia Day activities. So it's kind of hypocritical, isn't it? If it's a painful, terrible day, then scrap everything, surely. Yeah, it's up there with every other Invasion Day politician who complains about colonisation or whilst pocketing the king's currency. You'd think for such moral advocates, these sorts of people wouldn't want to participate in receiving dirty money. But, you know, consistency isn't something we have come to expect from these sorts. There are many days on the Australia... Australian calendar that are dedicated to Indigenous Australians. I mean, I can't even count how many, but I can count the ones that are purely dedicated for all Australians on two fingers, and they are not happy with those. And, you know, we're being told that there's issues with them. It's, it's not so much a concern for Indigenous Australians as much as it is a hatred for the white man. And we have seen it time and time again, and we need to start electing politicians who love Australia, not just minority groups, but the whole of Australia and not those who are going to apologise for who we are and what our grandparents built so that we can all live freely and, pros and prosper here in our nation, unlike many nations across the globe who unfortunately don't get to live as privileged as we do. Well, here we are on January the 1st. I suspect we'll be having this debate for the next four weeks. Well, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Stephen.